Hey guys, it's Jules with Stop Drop Disney and today I'll be talking about a Stitch Shop bag by Loungefly and it is the Caterpillar bag. There are so many fun details in this bag and I'm so excited to go through them with you guys. So if you're an Alice fan, you're a Loungefly fan, or you just love conversation piece bags like this one, please keep watching. And if you love Disney as much as I do, subscribe for more fun videos like this one. All right, guys, so I at first was on the fence about this bag. I wasn't 100%. I was just not sure about it. I don't know why, but then I realized I had to have it. The Caterpillar is just such a cool character, and this is such a nice tribute to the Caterpillar. And look at this cool shape of the bag as well. And it's definitely a bag that's a conversation piece, which I love bags where I can strike up a conversation with a stranger about our shared love of bags or just because they're just like, what is that? I, I think it's fun to wear crazy bags and I have fun with my fashion sense in general. As you could see from my hat, I love things that are just unusual and this bag couldn't be more unusual and unexpected. And I did get a chance to wear it out this weekend. I actually went to a Alice in Wonderland uh, escape the room experience. It wasn't a physical room. We were actually outside, um, but it was all on this app and you basically answered riddles and you know, went along, you know, different streets, finding characters within the app. So kind of like Pokemon Go-esque, but uh, the app had a lot more to it in terms of like there was this whole story and we had to save Alice. Anyway, long story short, a lot of people were dressed up and I chose to wear this Caterpillar bag and it definitely got a lot of attention as I was walking around. People were so thrilled by it and amazed by it. And I think that's just what you're going to get, even if, I mean, obviously that was an Alice event, so um, people were already kind of dressed up in a lot of different cool outfits, but even if I was just going on a regular day out, I would wear this. If it would match my outfit, I will wear this um, when I go out because I just think it'll be fun. And... Um, I'm anything but boring <laughs> when I really get into coming up with outfits for a fun day out. So yeah, I am excited to really dig into all the fun features of this bag, but I actually had people ask me to take a photo of it while I was out. You know, there's just, this is a showstopper. It's definitely not for everybody. It's definitely not for people that don't want to have talk to other people while they're out and about. But if you like, bags that are a little bit out there if you enjoy engaging in conversation with people about your shared love of bags then this is definitely a good one for you so let's start from the bottom up so obviously the shape of the bag is a mushroom and they could have been kind of boring with the base of it and just focused on the top of the mushroom but i'm happy that they didn't just make the bottom of the mushroom plain because that would have been boring and it wouldn't have been as exciting as this bag is and as detailed as this bag is where there's this pop of attention at the bottom of the bag with all these different colorful leaves that all have a nice design on them as well. And it's not just a design that's like pasted on this bag. There's nice um, applique that is on the base of this that gives it some texture and it's really cute. It doesn't go all the way around, so that would probably be one thing I would know. I would have loved if they did put it all the way around the bag. But realistically, you're wearing this bag where the flat side is against your side because it's a crossbody. And so they really didn't need to put it all the way around. The only reason that they could have put it all the way around is that these types of bags are bags that hopefully you're not just putting in some dark, dusty corner when you're not wearing them. They're a nice display piece and I enjoy displaying my bags. So I think in, in the case of people that actually display these bags when they're not being worn, maybe including it all the way around could have been nice, but either way, it didn't really bother me that it wasn't all the way around. But I like that the leaves aren't just one color. They're definitely true to Wonderland, having a few different colors down here and having them be bright and vibrant. I love it. 
Uh, so that's the first thing. You're not just getting all the attention at the top of the bag, but it's your eye kind of goes everywhere with this bag just because of that. And then too, they gave us a purple strap. So that was really a nice add as well. They could have gone with yellow or something that might not have been as much of a pop with the rest of the bag. I mean, yellow is a bright color, so it would have been a pop, but there's something about the fact that this is purple and it doesn't really, um, it kind of matches the, the spots on the bag, but not totally. They're more of a pinkish. So it's its own element to the bag and it's giving, you know, some attention to the nice strap that it comes with. So I, and I appreciated that they chose such a different color for the strap and didn't just make it blue or something that would just blend. The other thing I love about this bag is that it has two pockets. So it has a pocket on the bottom and then it has a pocket, which is the whole entire top of the mushroom, which you can um, enter from the back. So the, the pocket on the bottom, I still have the stuffing in here. And one of the reasons is uh, I'm probably most often going to leave the stuffing in here unless I'm really have a reason to put something in the bottom of this bag because the bag itself just sits better. Um, with the mushroom not flopping over because the mushroom is heavy, like the top of the mushroom is heavy um, with the padding that's already in here. So if you take it out, um, you may wanna keep it on the side so that you can put it back in when it's on display because otherwise your mushroom might droop over a little bit and this keeps it from doing that. So I will show you the lining, but and you know what, I'll just show it to you now because I can always just put this back in. So here is the gorgeous lining, which I absolutely love. And it's got the caterpillar and it's got this kind of trippy background color of pink and orange and yellow and flowers. It's just one of the coolest linings. I think it's my favorite lounge fly lining of any bag. It's really fun. I like bright colors like that. So I really appreciate the lining. Um, and that's the same lining that's in the top of the bag as well. So it looks nice and sits nice when it's all stuffed in here. Um, I definitely would recommend keeping some stuffing so that you can have this bag on display when you're not wearing it. But even when you are wearing it, unless you have this area packed with things, it might droop over if it doesn't have something in there. So just something to know with it. At the back of the bag, you have your Stitch Shop Lounge Fly plaque. I like that they made it a vibrant pink. It definitely still stands out. And if you're a collector of Lounge Fly bags, you do like the plaque. It is something that you want to stand out on it. So I'm happy that they gave it a nice bright pink. And then here is the entry to the top of the mushroom. So again, there's that pattern that's inside the bottom. Same pattern is inside the top of the mushroom. And there's no zipper pocket or anything, but it would be a little awkward to get in there if you needed to use a zipper pocket. So doesn't wasn't really something I expected to have a zipper pocket. And then the top of the mushroom, you have the little spots, which I mentioned are a little bit, they kind of look purple here until you have the purple strap next to them. And then you see a little bit of pink to them as well. And then of course, the piece de resistance, the caterpillar at the top of the bag. And I love how the caterpillar stands. And you just, can't miss this bag with the caterpillar at the top of it. So cool. I love the expression of the caterpillar. Like, you know, life is just boring him at the moment, <laughs> but like such a nice expression when you know the movie and the caterpillar, it's just so true to the caterpillar, that expression. Um, so I appreciate it very much. So, and almost like the caterpillar is looking down at Alice below the mushroom. Definitely appreciate that. And if you are somebody that puts this bag on display, um, you can unclip the straps and you could just have the mushroom without the straps on it. So there is that nice 
option for you as well. I will definitely do that at times when I just have this bag on display. I probably won't keep the strap on it at all times, although I do have a nice spot for it to hang over by my computer where I am going to use the strap um, just because I think the placement next to the Alice photo I have over there will look really nice. So actually kind of where my baby Yoda Danielle Nicole bag is right now is where this is going to be. So yeah, I just, I love the vibrant colors all over this bag. And the bottom of the mushroom actually has its own nice texture as well, which does remind you of the bottom of a big mushroom if you've ever been around mushrooms in the forest or you've seen them growing outside in the rain. When they are bigger like this, you notice there's like a texture or lines underneath the mushroom. And that's what they've given us here. And it's a nice soft fabric as well. So I do really like that. I love how much storage this bag has in general. Like I'm somebody that does like to bring a lot of things with me <laughs> at times. So it is nice that it has not one, but two storage compartments, which is kind of unexpected. I think the bag as a whole is just really unexpected. And I, I think that any Alice in Wonderland lover would really appreciate to have, appreciate having this in their collection. Um, it came out around the same time as the uh, teacups bag that I think is also by Stitch Shop as well. Um, and it's just like two stacked teacups, which I like that bag as well. But if between the two of them, obviously I went for the Caterpillar one and I think it just has more detail. It's more exciting to me. I think both of them are conversation pieces and very wearable, especially if you're um, in and around the Disneyland or uh, Disney World areas but for me the caterpillar just had a little bit more to it and we've seen kind of the stacked teacups in a lot of different formats over time but the caterpillar is not something that's always uh, out there there's not a lot of different versions of the caterpillar available in memorabilia and things like that so this bag was a really really nice um, ode to the caterpillar but let me know what you guys think of it. I'm very excited and happy to add it to my collection. I have now a few uh, Loungefly and Danielle Nicole crossbodies, and I definitely appreciate them very much. Hope you guys have a good rest of your week, and let me know what Loungeflies you're collecting recently. Bye, guys.